Hello, it's Gary from Fireblaze Software here. In this video I want to talk about the exploration mode and how that ties into the rest of the game. We've released trailers that show some of the combat gameplay and the more monstrous elements in the game, so if you haven't already seen those, please check them out. This is the exploration mode. Here you navigate around finding events and ports. Some events will, depending on your choices, put you into combat. Each exploration map is bordered by a picture frame. There are sea routes that allow you to move to other areas. These are behind locked gates that are opened by completing events. When moving to different areas, you choose your destination on the map. While the main story will drive you to certain areas, Outside of this you have freedom to explore and undertake side quests however you want. There are many places to discover that have nothing to do with the main story and have their own missions associated with them. Different elements combine to ensure the world is an interesting, diverse one to explore. Unique locations, biomes, time of day, water roughness and weather. These all feed into the combat gameplay, influencing your tactics in battle. The regions in the world map are themed. For example, the Uncharted Sea has very few ports, so exploring the unknown here is riskier. The Forsaken Sea contains a very volcanic area, which is a good example of how location can affect combat. If I fight within proximity of an active volcano, then that is something else I'll need to contend with in battle. We want you to constantly make interesting and difficult decisions in Abandoned Ship, so systems can combine to push you right to the edge. But nothing feels as sweet as snatching victory from the jaws of defeat from the choices you made as captain. Even with all of these factors stacked against you, ship destruction is not the end. If the captain goes down with the ship, you become stranded. When this happens, you must survive with deteriorating health. By escaping to a lifeboat, you and surviving crew must deal with dwindling supplies and morale. Of course, these aren't great situations to be in, and you can still die from them. But if you survive for long enough, you can be rescued and continue your journey. As long as the captain is alive, there is always hope. Thank you for watching. See you next time.